Hello and welcome to the Analyst Corner offered to you by 1-1 Blockchains. I am Enrico Camerinelli, VP of Research. And the topic of discussion is what is Hyperledger Bezu? Hyperledger Bezu is the first public blockchain to join the ranks of the Hyperledger project, where only permissioned blockchains were part of it until now. Hyperledger Bezu is an open source Ethereum client that makes use of the Ethereum public network. It went open source on October 2018. As consensus method, it utilizes proof of authority and proof of work, the ETH, which is the uh, Ethereum proof of work protocol. Bezu can be utilized for things that are very similar to what an Ethereum network is capable of, which is decentralized apps development, smart contract development, and ether mining. The Hyperledger Bezu network is designed for enterprise needs, privacy and permissioning, most of all. It implements the Enterprise Ethereum Alliance specification, which ensures that it can connect with other Ethereum projects, avoiding vendor lock-in issues. Hyperledger Bezu blockchain supports monitoring features, including network and node performance monitor. For privacy, Bezu offers an out-of-the-box private transaction manager. Bezu enables users to create and manage privacy groups. The transactions are signed by a specific key or a random key. To sign in with a specific key, you need to use the privacy market transaction signing key file. Hyperledger Bezu offers also proper permission management that activates only nodes that are allowed to participate. Apart from node permissioning, there is also an option of account permissions that enforce more rules and regulations. Account permissioning can be used to enforce identity requirements and onboarding. It also helps to suspend accounts, blacklist broken contracts, and restrict accounts from performing unauthorized activities. Hyperledger Bezu blockchain provides both local and on-chain permissioning. Local permissioning is done at the node level. To implement it, a permission configuration file is used. As the permissions are local, they do not impact the network. This is useful to establish how the node functions, independent of the rest of the network. This type of permissioning is also required to protect nodes if something wrong happens. On-chain permissioning, on the other hand, is coded within smart contracts. On-chain permissioning is network-wide and all nodes can read and update it. On-chain permissioning can only be modified or updated with coordination and once it's updated, it is applied across the entire network. So where is Hyperledger Bezu used? Let's look, look at the pharmaceutical uh, environment. Pharmaceutical, pharmaceutical waste in the US specifically. The problem of surplus medication is getting increasingly serious. There is about 2 billion worth of prescription drugs wasted every year. Each year, tons of prescription drugs remain unused in clinics, assisted living facilities, and at individual patients' homes. Often, the law demands that any unused medications be destroyed, which results in a whole complex set of problems. The cost of unused drug disposal can be around $1.25 per pound. The rules require that unused drugs be disposed of through incinera incineration, and this creates additional environmental concerns. The likely solution to this complex problem is establishing a mechanism for returning the unused medication and offering them to patients who need them. One in every three US citizens cannot afford their prescript medication due to the high cost or absence of medical insurance. To achieve true effectiveness and prevent misuse, such mechanisms need to take into account many practical aspects. First of all, control over the donation, the donated drugs, quality, and expiration. Second, motivation of, for pharmacies to act as drug acceptance facilities. Then, motivation for clinics and patients to donate and use drugs. And last but not least, data security. The Save Pharmaceutical Project is building a Hyperledger Bezu based platform to join drug donors, such as clinics, assisted living facilities, individual persons, drug repositories like pharmacies, and patients. 
The solution will be a multifunctional product allowing donors to donate the medications they do not need and pharmacies to approve or reject the donations and ultimately to provide them to patients. Hyperledger was, was chosen as a platform for building a permission enterprise scale network to serve the drug repository system. In view of the high sensitivity of healthcare data that is going to be exchanged in a network, the transactions will be processed via smart contracts executed on Hyperledger Bezu. Only the parties directly involved in the transaction will have access to its details. At the same time, blockchain provides the means of controlling the entire transaction flow from the drug donation by the owner to its final assignment to the patient. The platform will include a mechanism of monitoring the pharmacy income from reselling the donated drugs and distributing it among the other participants. Since US laws explicitly prohibit donors from demanding payment for the drugs they donate, there should be other methods of motivating them to participate in the program. The state laws establish a tax deduction for drug donation, so the Bezu platform includes an additional compensation in the form of a tradable digital token. The tokens issued on the Bezu network can be used towards a discount on the platform or exchange for other assets. The same tokens can be issued to pharmacies too, to attract them to the program. So, in conclusion, enterprises can implement mission-critical applications on a private blockchain while leveraging the features of a permissionless protocol. I encourage you to read more technical details of the Hyperledger Bezu architecture at 11blockchain.com slash hyperledger dash Bezu. This concludes the analyst corner offered to you by 11 Blockchains. I am Enrico Camerinelli, VP of Research.